Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about theories of population, in which we will talk about Malthusian theory of population, demographic transition theory, and optimum theory of population. One by one, we discuss about each theory. Firstly, we are going to talk about Malthusian theory of population. In this theory, Malthus basically tells us the relation between food supply and population. According to him, in a country, population grow very fast as compared to their food supply. So, in this theory, Malthus says that food supply increase at arithmetic rate. Food supply increase at arithmetic rate means food supply increase at very slow rate. On the other hand, population increase at geometric rate. Population increase at geometric rate means population increase at very fast rate. So, we can say that according to Malthus, in a country, population grow very fast as compared to their food supply. In this diagram, we can see on x axis we have time and y axis we have quantity. This OP line shows growth in food supply. You can see this OP line shows food supply is growing at constant rate at a very slow rate. And this OP curve shows growth in population. You can see population is growing very fast rate. At this E point, population growth and food supply growth become equal to each other. That's why this point called crisis point. Because after this point, you can see population is growing very fast as compared to their resources, as compared to their food supply. You can see a population curve is above from food supply curve. So, if in a country population is growing very fast but people don't have food to eat, means food supply is growing very slow, it will create a very complicated situation in economy. That's why population must be controlled so that it can balance with food supply. To control population, Malthus talks about two types of checks, positive checks and preventive checks. One by one, we discuss about each. Firstly, we are going to talk about positive checks. Positive checks is a situation that shorten the human lifespan. Positive checks is a situation that shorten the human lifespan. For example, if in a country population is growing but people don't have food to eat for very long time period. So, it will create situation of famines and epidemic. And because of lack of food and nutrition, so many diseases will spread in the economy. And if people don't have food to eat, then country start doing war for getting food supply. And because of famines, epidemic, diseases and war, so many people are dying. If people people are continuous dying then at certain moment food supply will become equal to population. Now we are going to talk about preventive checks. Preventive checks are those methods which people can use by own for controlling population. Preventive checks are those methods which people can use by own for controlling population. For example, family planning, late marriages or people can use so many birth control methods for controlling population. Now we are going to talk about next theory of population. It is called demographic transition theory of population. This theory basically tells us how our population change from high birth and high death to lower birth and lower death as we progress agriculture to industrialize economy. This theory basically tells us how our population change from high birth and high death to lower birth and lower death as we progress agriculture to industrialize economy. Means according to this theory, when economic development is very low, we are mainly depend on agriculture sector, then birth rate and death rate both are very high in our country. But as we are growing and becoming more industrialized, both death rate and birth rate start declining. Now, we will clearly understand this theory with the help of one diagram. In this diagram on x-axis, we have time and y-axis, we have birth rate and death rate. This BR curve shows birth rate, this DR curve shows death rate. This theory basically divided into three stages. During first stage, you can see birth rate and death rate both are very high. Why birth rate very high during that stage? Because during first stage, our economic development is very low. We are mainly depend on agriculture sector. That's why people are giving more birth to children because they require more people to work on agriculture sector. 
सेकेंड थिंग डेथ रेट ऑल्सो वेरी हाई ड्यूरिंग दैट स्टेज बिकॉज इकोनॉमिक डिवेलपमेंट इज वेरी लो वी हैव लैक ऑफ फूड लैक ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन लैक ऑफ नॉलेज अबाउट हेल्थ केयर लैक ऑफ मेडिकल सर्विसज एज अ रिजल्ट डेथ रेट इज वेरी हाई बट एज वी मूविंग फर्स्ट स्टेज टू सेकेंड स्टेज मीन्स वी आर ग्रोइंग we are becoming more industrialized during second stage you can see initially birth rate and death rate are high but after certain time period birth rate and death rate both are declining you can see death rate declining very fast as compared to uh, birth rate that's why overall birth rate will higher than uh, death rate and difference between birth rate and death rate is called natural growth in population but why death rate is declining very fast because now we are growing we are becoming more industrialized people are getting proper food proper nutrition proper medical services as a result our death rate is declining uh, you can see during third stage birth rate and death rate both become very low so we can say that this theory basically tell us how our population is changing from high birth and high death to lower birth to and lower death as we are growing as we are becoming more industrialized now we are going to talk about optimum theory of population this theory is given by edwin cannon this theory basically tell us what is ideal size of population or we can say that this theory basically tell us what is best and more desirable size of population so that our existing resources give us maximum return and our per capita income will remain high so in this theory we will talk about underpopulated overpopulated and optimum populated under populated means when size of population is small for existing resources under populated means when size of population is small for existing resources for example our population is equal to 50000 but we have resources for 70000 people we have more resources but our population is less if our population is less as compared to our resources that means our resources are not proper utilizing if our resources are not proper utilizing means our per capita income will remain low so in case of underpopulated our per capita income will remain low now we are going to talk about overpopulated in case of overpopulated size of population is larger for our existing resources in case of overpopulated size of population is larger for existing resources for example our population is equal to 70000 but we have only resources for 50000 people we have less resources but our population is high if we don't have resources for our population that means our per capita income will remain low so in case of overpopulated our per capita income also will remain low now we are going to talk about optimum populated optimum populated is the best and more desirable size of our population this size of population is best utilizing our existing resources because in this case our population is equal to our resources that's why in this case our per capita income will remain high so now we understand this theory with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have size of population and y axis we have output per capita so here o n is called optimum populated or we can say that o n size of population is best and more desirable size of our population because at this level our resources are best utilizing that's why at this level our per capita income will remain high if our population is less than o n it will call underpopulated under populated means our population is small for existing resources that's why at this level our per capita income will remain low on the other hand if our population is more than o n it will call over populated means we don't have resources according to our population that's why our per capita income will remain low so this is all about theories of population i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care